Yo, 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 what's up, man? This is your boy, Yo Majesty. What's up, man? I'm back today with another tutorial for you guys, and I'm just going to be showing you how to, you know, make your own art uh, using a stock plug-in, you know what I'm saying? Like that song, Mike Will Made It. Uh, I mean, not the song, Mike Will Made It, but the song, Mike Will Made, uh, it was with the Black Beatles by Ray Shermer. He used the art, you know what I'm saying? I think he used Doom, too. You can go on YouTube and check that video out. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to show you how to make your own art. And what you'll do is simple. This is going to be simple and quick. You know, I'm not going to get in real details in it. You know what I'm saying? You just really have to play around with it. But I'm going to show you how to get it started. And what you'll do, you'll go to either one of your uh, things in your step step sequencer. And you'll right-click. Okay? And you go to insert or replace. It really don't matter. And um, we're going to go. Let's do GMS. GMS is a good plug-in. A lot of people is, is sleeping on it. Got a lot of good sounds in it. You know what I'm saying? You just have to tweak them a lot. Tweak them a little bit. You just mess with these knobs right here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and you know you can you know pretty much for the most part get the sound that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, when you pick your plug-in, you want to go right here to your wrench tool. All right. Excuse me. And um. Right here, where is the the art? Right here, you gonna go right here, and uh, you know what I always do? I just hit up. You know what I'm saying? I just go and put it on up, and um, you go to range, and you want to turn your range up. This is the octaves right here. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna it, how many octaves is gonna play? All right, and um, hold up. first of all, let me change. This sound, I go lead and go here. Where we can use that, all right. And see, right now it's six, so it's gonna play six octaves, six notes, or whatever you want to call it. That, that's your arc, boom. You got an arc, you know what I'm saying. And depending on how fast you want to go, you'll mess with the time. Like, if I put it all the way down, it's gonna go fast as hell, like. I'm saying so you don't want to depending on your beat depending on how you want it depending on you know what sound you use and it might sound good I don't know but it don't sound good in this but if I probably made a track with a sound like that I mean you probably sound good just depending on what sounds good to you and how you want to do it but uh yeah basically man that, that's pretty much all you do and right here you know you can go six octaves is is playing six octaves six notes or whatever it is so you can go to two and let's see, let's go right here, mess with the time, and it should play two. You know what I'm saying? Playing two, let's see. Um, you know what I'm saying? You can go to three. What? Hold up. Three. You know what I'm saying? So that that's really, that's how you do an art. You know what I'm saying? It's, Basic, simple, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what plug in you got, depending on what sound you're using, that's you know how you make an arp a arp sound, you know what I'm saying? Like Mike Mike Woody, I think he played like maybe a chord. You know what I'm saying? And just change just change he just he just changed the sound, you know what I'm saying? Simple. And see you can do the same thing. You, you know you just using the stock plug in, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Yeah, that's it, man. This your boy, your majesty, something simple. You know what I'm saying? How to make your own ARP sound in FL Studio using a stock plug-in. You can use any plug-in you want. You know what I'm saying? Like I show you, you can go to, uh, let's use FL Keys. You know, we can check out F FL Keys, and you can make an ARP sound with them. Like I said, you go to the wrench tool. Go right here. Let's put this on four or whatever you want to put it. I'm just gonna do four, and uh, like I do that, and uh, here we go. You know, just messing with the time shift. Is gonna let you know how if you if you get the time knob all the way down, it's gonna go fast as hell. Fast. You know what I'm saying? So you really wanna just kind of mess with this, depending on what you got your uh, your metrodome on. And your BP, your BPM, your beats per minute, it just it it'll pretty much you you have to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But basically, this is how you you know make your ARP sound. You know, and the easy another easy way to do it 
just go all the way down and uh and and just work your way from there. Just go all the way down and work your way from there. You know what I'm saying? And 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 have your uh sorry. And have your um your metrodome on and uh you be able to, you know, figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, it's it's just some basic, some simple, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of guys probably didn't know, especially if you just starting out in FL Studio and you got stock plugins and you wanna make an ARP sound or whatever, you like the way the ARP sound and the ARP is is a good way to make a quick beat too. You know what I'm saying? You can get an ARP sound and use certain chords or whatever and you know, just build on that and hell you can make a track. You know what I'm saying? It might be a hit track, you never know, depending on how it sounds, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. It's the boy Yo Master. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, the quality is gonna get better, man. You know what I'm saying? So you guys, man, just bear with me. Make sure you check out them tracks, man, and you know, holler at me. And remember, keep it real with yourself or you be real with anybody else. Peace.